Hey everybody, welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Mega Man 6. Last time I took on Flame Man, and as you can see there's a little one-up icon over his portrait. That means I don't have anything else to pick up in that stage. You'll see more about that later on. Here we're gonna go after Blizzard Man, who is of course the master of snow. That alone just intimidates the hell out of me. Okay, obligatory snow stage, let's do this. Of course, robotic walruses are a must. I mean, this already shows that Mr. X had far better taste than Dr. Wily. Jeez. See that one up? Yeah, I could get it, but... I never make the jump back in one piece, so I'm just gonna skip it. Basically, um, you can use Flame, ba flame Blast to melt those uh, ice barriers. But the problem with that particular... Hey! The problem with that particular... Hey! Oh, I wanted to get to that ice block so I could break it with rush power. <sighs> what? Oh, right, that one up at the beginning. Yeah, making that jump is... R making the jump back is really hard without rush jet. It's possible, but I've done it like three times out of, you know, 20 attempts, so... Uh, the Flame Blast is amazing. Um, as you can see, it takes out the shield enemies in one hit instead of a whole bunch of Mega Buster shots, which is amazing. Switch to a Rush Power real quick. It does this little scene every time you switch to it, but it's skippable. I'm just going to show the first, the full one this first time here. Just charge it up by holding the Fire button and let it go. You can break stuff, and surprisingly, this is actually... Oh god, stupid... Blah, 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 blah. Rush Power is a boss's weakness later on, which is nice. You know, they're actually putting new things to use. Which is one thing I like. You know, starting in Mega Man 5, how one of Wily's machines was weak to Super Arrow. I kind of I like when, you know, they make the extra special items, you know, actually useful in Endgame instead of just being really gimmicky. Hollow uh, Rush Power is really gimmicky, don't get me wrong. Uh, random side note, if you destroy these ice blocks and then happen to die for some reason, uh, they actually, the ice blocks actually stay destroyed. Alright, gonna switch for this one. Break that block real quick, jump back up so we don't hit the spikes. Time to jump down there. Get some life back. Get yet another E tank. This game is not uh, not wanting for extra E tanks. So if you ever get into a situation where you're thinking about using one, don't be afraid. There are quite a few of them. Another reason I think Mega Man 6 was one of the easiest games. No, nope, actually, I definitely say it's the easiest of the first six games. Although it's uh, certainly not a bad game. I mean, a lot of the longtime Mega Man fans will debate between this and 5 being the, not the worst, but the least good, we'll say. Uh, I, I still think that's Mega Man 5 myself. Um, basically, because Mega Man 5 didn't do anything new except for the large charge shot and um, <laughs> raping Rush Coil. Making it one of the worst, ru the worst rush adapter ever. But aside from that, um, it really didn't do anything new or interesting. I mean, all the Super Arrow was was a revamp of Item Two for Mega Man Two, so it loses points for that. And I mean, at least you know Mega Man Six, we got new rush adapters. Um, you know the rush jet and the rush power. Stupid snow forms that are hard to dodge if they get if you get an unlucky one. Kind of like Airman, it's either easier or difficult depending on the pattern you get. And he goes down. But yeah, you know this game did you know rush jet, rush uh, the rush power upgrades. Thought that was pretty neat. I'm not gonna get into uh, the other thing that it does until. Uh, Tomahawk Man stage, which should be part four. Uh, then I'll get into one of the other big differences for this version of the game, one of the new things they did. But yeah, I, th I thought this game added a bit to the series. 
I still think it's better than five. Um, still not my favorite of the original six, but uh, you know, it's it's a good game. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It it you know it feels. I mean you know uh, it just it feels fun. I guess is the. I mean okay. I, I mean how does that make sense? All of them are fun, but it's hard to explain. It's a random side note. Uh, Nightman and Windman were designed by. Was it two Americans or one Canadian and an American? I don't remember, but there was a robot design contest for Mega Man 6, and uh, some North American folks uh, submitted the Windman and Nightman designs, which I love because Nightman just happens to be my favorite robot master, which might explain why I like 6 a lot more than some people. Huh. Anyway, that'll do it for part 2. Join me in part 3 when we go after Plant Man, the obligatory shield boss of the game. Although he is certainly cooler than Starman, but we will take him on in part three. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.